welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. My name is Terry White, and today I get to share with you how you can do live broadcasting via the Facebook app on your iOS devices. Now, live streaming is not a new concept. As a matter of fact, you probably have heard of applications like Periscope by Twitter and Meerkat and Blab, and there's like several others out there. But now for the first time, Facebook is getting into it for just regular everyday Facebook users. Now, what I mean by that is in August, right around August 5th, uh, Facebook rolled out uh, live streaming for public figures, for popular people, people that had verified public figure Facebook pages. Uh, they could use an app called Facebook Mentions, which again was dedicated for those verified pages, and they could actually live stream uh, to their Facebook page and anyone that's, that liked that page or visited that page could watch the live stream and comment. Okay, great. Then they opened it up for not just big time public figures, but pretty much anyone with a verified personal page. Okay, great. But now as of December 14th, they started rolling it out to everyday Facebook users, Facebook users uh, that have the regular Facebook app. So what that means is that uh, you, even though you may not have it today, it is coming to your Facebook app. And I know more and more people are getting it day by day. I did not have it on, on December 14th, but I got it right around Christmas time. I was checking every day just to see if it was there or not. And the feature got turned on for my account. Uh, like I said, right around Christmas day, December 25th, 24th, 26th, somewhere in that ballpark. I happened to notice that it was there. And a friend of mine just got uh, hers turned on uh, today. So it's rolling out uh, literally day by day for batches of users. And that helps Facebook not to have it all, you know, not have everyone dive in at the same time until they can test the servers, test the load, make sure it's working properly. So once it's turned on for you, you'll be able to live stream to any of the people on your regular Facebook profile page or uh, yeah, profile page that you want to stream to. Now, it's very similar to doing a status update or posting a picture or posting a regular video. You can pick and choose who sees it. And uh, while you're live streaming, they can comment and you'll see the comments in real time. So rather than explain it all, why don't we just show it? Why don't we go ahead and do it? So I've got my iPhone 6S Plus here. And again, this is iOS only at this point. I'm sure it'll roll out to Android. I'm sure it'll roll out to uh, the Facebook Pages app and other apps. But right now it's iOS, either for Facebook mentions users with verified pages or the regular blue Facebook app that we know and love and we've been using for years. So I'm gonna go into my um, social folder here and you can see in the upper left hand corner, I've got the Facebook app, again, the same one that you have. And I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. And I, uh, last thing I was on was my own personal profile. So this is not my page. This is my regular um, uh, Facebook profile that I set up years ago. Now, if I scroll down, uh, I'll see the, um, the status updates I've done thus far. I posted about sales at B&H and iTunes gift cards and things like that. But of course, when you scroll down, you notice that you have the three buttons. You can do a uh, status update, which we've been doing in the past. You can write text, add a photo, add a video, so forth and so on. You can do a photo. You can post a photo right now. And of course, you can do uh, a life event. So what I want to do is a status update. And when I tap status update, you'll notice that I have the ability to go in and choose this new icon at the bottom here, the bottom right-hand side, uh, that little icon with the circle, with two circles with the person in it, that's the live streaming icon. So if I tap that icon, uh, it brings up my camera so I can wave at myself. I can also switch the camera around and show the other side. So it's nice that you can start on either side you want. I can now begin to put in a description, but here's one of the things as a tip that I would give you guys um, right off the bat, is that um, you're you're gonna get interrupted most likely by your phone. There's gonna be some kind of um, notification popping down, or you might even get a phone call, or you might get something like that. So let me get out of it for a second. 
And let me show you one of the things you're going to want to do if you're going to really get into live streaming, and that is turn on your Do Not Disturb. So I'm going to swipe up from the bottom of the phone, and that little half moon right there is Do Not Disturb. So now that my phone is in Do Not Disturb mode, I won't get any phone calls, I won't get any uh, notifications that would interrupt my stream. All right, so now we can go back to status. We can go ahead and say that I want to uh, do a status update and I want to do a live video and now I can describe my live video. So I could type in whatever text I would, just like you would any other status update. Even if you're posting a picture, you know you can describe the picture. So I already have some text on the clipboard here. I'm just going to paste it in and that way you don't have to watch me type. Live streaming on Facebook is here. Now the next section, notice it says fan, photographers, fan photography. Those are lists that I created on my Facebook account years ago um, in, in the web browser. So you do that in the web browser version of Facebook. You can make lists of people that you want to share specific things with. That way I'm not overwhelming my entire uh, Facebook friend, you know, my all my friends with things that they may not be interested in or things that I want to keep personal. So for example, I have a list called family. I have a list called work. I have a list called fans. These are people that just follow me. I may not know them personally, but they are fans of mine. So that way I can keep the broadcast or pictures or status updates or whatever I do on Facebook targeted towards specific groups of people. So now that I've got that list, uh, those lists chosen, and by the way, when you're doing this mobile, um, it only really lets you pick one list at a time. Uh, but since I combine those three lists together in a status update in the web browser, it remembers that those three lists have been put together. Now that may disappear if I choose another list and go back and try and to do it again. And it would say, uh, sorry, um, but you, you know, that list isn't there and I'd have to go, you can't combine them, unfortunately, on mobile. But you can, of course, pick any individual list you want. So if I were to go to tap on more, it would show the dozens of lists I've created over time and I could target this broadcast so that only those people see it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm done. That is who I want to share this with. And now it is ready for me to go live. And I thought, what better way to show you how this works than to actually do it. So I'm going to keep recording this video while I go live and while I interact, hopefully, with some people that will join the stream. So I'll explain to them that I'm recording a video on YouTube for how this works and that they can check it out on YouTube when I'm done and they'll see themselves in the video. Now Facebook gives you a nice countdown and it looks like we're live again. So hello Facebook. I'm uh, doing another live streaming test. I know I did one earlier, but I had a video glitch here um, just in my recording software, nothing to do with Facebook. And I thought I would uh, give it one more shot here. I see more, uh, I see one person has just joined, three people have joining, and that's um, what you'll see. So you'll start to see at the top a count of how many viewers you have. And then um, as those viewers start to interact or leave comments or post comments, you'll see that down below. And by the way, if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, I'm recording a YouTube video on how live streaming works with um, Facebook. So you guys are participating in the, in the video. So hey, David. Hey, Victoria. So these guys are actually making comments live, and I can see those comments. I can tap, for example, to like a comment if I choose. If the person were an internet troll or being obnoxious, I could also choose to block that person and I could later unblock them if I wanted to. So, um, but these guys are cool. They're friends of mine. So they're on here um, leaving comments. Hey, Bruce Mandel, how's it going? I'm doing a recording for my YouTube channel for those of you who just got here on how the Facebook live video works, the live streaming works in the regular Facebook iOS app. So um, just showing how it works. Um, in the app itself and uh, you guys can check out the YouTube video a little bit later this evening at terrywhite.tv and you can uh, see what I explained up front about the live streaming and how that feature works and of course um, <laughs> thanks thanks Vicki uh, you guys will be able to you're, you'll see your names because you're part of the video now so uh, cheers now uh, one thing I'll point out to my YouTube audience is that there's a button in the upper right hand corner here for switching the video 
Um, yes, other people can see your comments, Bruce, including YouTube. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch the camera around here where I've got my table. I've got BB-8. You might, guys, if you're Star Wars fans, you'll recognize BB-8. And we can give him a little shake there, and he'll uh, get going. There's a remote. We can spin him around and move him around. I don't want him to go off the table, though, but you get the idea. We'll back him up a little bit. And that's uh, BB-8. So, switching the camera back. So, that's how you guys can um, switch back and forth between it being on the selfie camera and, of course, being on the um, subject, whatever your rear camera is facing. Uh, so with that said, here, let me hold BB-8 upside down for a second here. That turns them off. And um, there he goes. Bye, bye BB-8. Uh, yep, he was peeking out a little bit from my corner video the yesterday, and, or maybe you saw him in the movie. All right, so with that said, YouTube, you've now seen how this works. Thanks, guys, for participating in my video. You're all stars now in my uh, YouTube video. I'm going to go ahead and end the broadcast so that YouTube sees, sees how that process works, and then we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. Bye. Take care, and we'll catch you on the next one. So now uh, that video just ended, and more importantly, that video is now um, on my profile page. So what's nice about it is when it ended, it gave me some stats of how many people watch live. And of course, that number will be a little higher than what you saw uh, while they were live. So you might only see, let's say, 10 or 100 people live at any one given time. But then you might see when you end the video, there were 300 people or 30 people or whatever it was, because that's the nature of live streaming. People come and go. So some people will come in, stay the entire time. Some people only came in to say hi, and then they have to go do something else. Some people come in later because they didn't get the notification, didn't see it right away, or they were busy. So that's the nature of live streaming. So it's not like everyone starts your broadcast right with you and stays till the end right when you're finished. Um, it, it will be all over the map. So some people will come, some people will come later, some people will come at the end and say, hey, what did I miss? And by then it's too late. The other thing is uh, you have the ability to save the video to the camera roll, which is nice. It saves the raw video. You don't get the comments or anything, but you get the video um, that you recorded. So you can uh, purpose that, repurpose that video elsewhere, like to YouTube or any other um, um, video sharing site that you want to put it on or put it on your blog or your, uh, your regular website. Now, the video is in a square format. That's why I didn't bother rotating my phone, landscape, or portrait. It's in portrait. doesn't matter because the video itself is square. Now, if I say done, there we go, and I scroll. Uh, actually, if I go to my profile here and I refresh the profile, that video should be right there, and there it is, playing back. So there's the video on my profile page with one like, seven comments, and now it's already up to 20 views because people have already started watching the replay. So that's how the Facebook live video or live streaming feature works. And again, it's rolling out group by group in the iOS app to start off with. And it's great also if you have an iPad because it's native on the iPad as well. Even with a, what I like to say is even a better experience because you get a nice big video with the comments down the side. And those beeps you're hearing in the background, those are people probably on Facebook leaving comments right now on, on that or other things. So with that said, I'm going to um, say goodbye to you guys on YouTube. And I hope that you can, I hope you learned something from the video and feel free to go ahead and check every day like I was doing to see if that button is there in your Facebook status updates. Once it's there, you have the feature, and you can start streaming live on your Facebook profile page to whomever you designate. So with that, take care, and we'll catch you on the next one.